antique dealer Drew Pritchard has been the face of Quest TV's Salvage Hunters for more than a decade. Recently, however, he's been involved in some controversies. So what happened to Drew Pritchard? Let's find out in today's video. Drew Pritchard was into antique collections from an early age. As a teen, he would spend entire summers on the beach salvaging boat parts and other paraphernalia which he would sell later. He eventually moved on to vintage car collection at the age of 15. Drew trained as a stained glass restorer and designer at Iskol Dyfrin Conwy. After years of travelling around Wales and collecting antiques, he started his architectural antique dealership called Drew Pritchard Antiques. But how did Drew Pritchard end up becoming a TV personality? Well, the producers at Quest TV saw Drew's extensive work and pitched a TV series around him and his successful business. The show Salvage Hunters premiered in 2011 and films Drew and his crew as they scour for valuable items in various locations around the UK. The team searched for unique items such as architectural remains, antique furniture, car parts and more. They then restore the pieces attempting to sell them for a profit. The show has aired 17 seasons and more than 215 episodes so far. Over the years, the show became quite popular, receiving over 11 million views in the UK alone. With the success of Salvage Hunters, Drew began hosting spin-offs such as Salvage Hunters, The Restorers and Salvage Hunters Classic Cars in 2018. He also hosted Salvage Hunters Best Buys in which he went over previous buys and the profits he made from them. The latest show he hosted is 2021's Three Men, Four Wheels. Drew's antique shop in Glen Conway was quite popular with people from all over the world. Although Drew owned the premises for more than 20 years, it wasn't open to tourists. That changed in 2017, however, when Drew opened up the shop to outsiders. The shop has since seen visitors from Japan, Australia, New Zealand and all over Europe who come to look at his unusual collection. The show certainly played a role in making the shop so popular. You'll be surprised to learn that Drew closed the shop last year. He had secured permission to expand the store in 2019, but looks like that's not going to happen. Instead, Drew has plans to relocate to new pastures. In his personal life, Drew was married to Rebecca. The two met when Rebecca was working for a property development company and visited his store as a customer. Rebecca had an eye for antiques just like Drew and the pair started dating. They eventually got married and started a family together. Unfortunately, their marriage didn't last and they separated in 2017. Now, we don't know the exact reason why the pair broke up. Neither Drew nor Rebecca reveal the exact reason. Rumours suggested that Drew was involved with another woman named Amanda Thomas while still married to Rebecca. These rumours turned out to be true when Amanda's husband, Yanis Thomas, exposed Drew. There was a lot of drama between the two, with Yanis accusing Drew of sending his wife text messages. According to the Daily Post, the two were involved even at an altercation at Liverpool's Arms Pub, Conway, where Drew was knocked to the ground, dropping his drink and glasses. He was left with a sore head, a cut on his elbow and pain in his jaw. The matter soon went to court where it was revealed that Drew had been provoking Thomas, which led him to assault Drew. It was also revealed that after Amanda broke up with him two years after the affair, Drew threatened her, saying their affair will be made public. Following this, Amanda began receiving messages that were described as Drew Pritchard's other women blaming her for her breakdown in their relationships with him. Amanda immediately told her husband about the affair and the two agreed to stay together. Janice Thomas's attorney Michael Gray denied that Mr. Thomas sought revenge on Mr. Pritchard, but said that when he attacked him in the pub three months after the message, the salvage hunter had been smirking and belittling him. It doesn't end there, however. The Daily Post reported that Yannis Thomas was banned from every pub in Conway County. Drew wasn't done, however, and he sent Thomas another text goading him and calling him a coward. Mr. Gray revealed that Drew was reported to the police for tormenting Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas was fined £480 for threatening behaviour and £960 for assault. No action was taken against Drew. Other than the controversy involving Yannis Thomas, Drew Pritchard seems to be doing well career-wise. In his recent stories, he's travelled to Northern Ireland and Germany looking for antique pieces to buy. His recent highlights include visiting a vintage German castle to view some vintage furniture and swan-shaped lamps. Another highlight has to be his rummaging through a shed of treasures where he finds an incredibly beautiful 19th century French mirror. Fans still love the show and it's great to see Drew doing what he loves the most, shopping for antique treasures. But do let us know what you think of Drew Pritchard, his show, his shop and his controversies down in the comments below. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next one.